The Western Media's Misreporting of the War in Palestine The Western Media's coverage of the war in Palestine has been widely criticized for being biased and inaccurate. Critics argue that the media has focused on Israeli casualties and property damage, while largely ignoring the plight of Palestinians. They also accuse the media of using inflammatory language and imagery to demonize Palestinians and justify Israeli violence. One of the most common criticisms of the Western media is that it has failed to adequately report on the human cost of the conflict. For example, a 2014 study by the Media Tenor Center found that Israeli deaths received 12 times more coverage than Palestinian deaths in the New York Times, Washington Post, and Los Angeles Times. Another common criticism is that the Western media has used biased language and imagery to portray Palestinians as terrorists and Israelis as victims. For example, a 2015 study by the University of Maryland found that the New York Times used the word terrorist to describe Palestinians 11 times more often than it used the word to describe Israelis. Critics also argue that the Western media has largely ignored the root causes of the conflict, such as the Israeli occupation of Palestinian territory and the illegal blockade of Gaza. Instead, the media has focused on the immediate causes of violence, such as Hamas rocket attacks. The Western media's coverage of the war in Palestine has been condemned by human rights groups, journalists, and academics alike. In 2014, a group of over 200 journalists and academics signed a letter to the New York Times protesting its coverage of the Gaza conflict. The letter accused the Times of uncritically repeating Israeli government claims and neglecting the suffering of Palestinians. The Western media's misreporting of the war in Palestine has a number of negative consequences. It helps to perpetuate the conflict by demonizing Palestinians and justifying Israeli violence. It also undermines the credibility of the media and makes it difficult for people to understand the true nature of the conflict. A critique of Western governments Western governments have also been criticized for their role in the conflict. The United States is the largest military donor to Israel providing it with billions of dollars in aid each year. The U.S. has also vetoed numerous U.N. resolutions that were critical of Israel. Western governments have also been criticized for their failure to hold Israel accountable for its human rights abuses. For example, in 2014, the International Criminal Court opened a preliminary investigation into alleged war crimes committed by both Israel and Hamas. However, the investigation has been stalled due to pressure from the U.S. and other Western governments. The Western government's support for Israel and their failure to hold it accountable for its human rights abuses have been widely condemned by human rights groups and activists. They argue that Western governments are complicit in Israel's war crimes and that they are helping to perpetuate the conflict. Conclusion the Western media's misreporting of the war in Palestine and the Western government's support for Israel are both major obstacles to peace. In order to achieve a just and lasting peace, it is essential that the media report on the conflict accurately and that Western governments hold Israel accountable for its human rights abuses.